Judging by how quickly she picked up the sport of wheelchair racing, Lisa Franks is a quick learner. Based on her results, she's also quick on the track. Just four years after taking up the sport, Franks raced her way to four gold and one silver medal at the 2000 Paralympic Summer Games in Sydney, Australia. Her results cemented her place among the world's best. It was a position she wouldn't relinquish for many years. Well, Sydney was just a unique experience because I was 18, I was so young and new on the scene, and I really didn't know how I would fare against the competition from other countries. Um, but I knew after my first race, it was, it was a really close race, and I ended up coming out with a gold medal. And um, I had four more races to look forward to. Um, and so it was, I could see the momentum building as the week went on. And, uh, the first time the Canadian National Anthem was played, it was just a memorable, I'll never forget that moment, just the whole stadium standing up and listening to the National Anthem because of something that I had done. Um, and all I could really think about in that moment was that really only four years earlier I was lying in a hospital bed and just wondering where my life would take me and uh, to accomplish such a big thing in four years. Um, yeah, it really made me grateful for all the support I had leading into those games. Until the age of 14, Franks was an able-bodied athlete active in many sports. After a medical condition left her paralyzed, she didn't turn away from the world upset about her fate. Instead, she turned to wheelchair sports. Franks was introduced to wheelchair rugby in the hospital, but a chance meeting soon steered her toward wheelchair racing. I started wheelchair racing when I was 14 and I was actually in Regina in the hospital after a spinal cord injury and luck of the draw, my physiotherapist um, said her husband was a Paralympic wheelchair racer and she arranged to have a meeting with him and he came in and uh, I met Clayton Garine and we chatted and he showed me a couple tricks in the wheelchair and from there, we just started pushing wheelchairs together, and then the, story, the rest of the his, story is history, really. We started traveling all around the world together, competing in wheelchair racing. Although it wouldn't take her long to get to an elite level, her initial races were far from that. However, her first experiences in wheelchair racing were still memorable. Oh, my first track meet, um, it was comical actually because I had only maybe pushed in a wheelchair three or four times out on the street and I really was not good at steering and it's just a very different technique than you would use for an everyday wheelchair so um, my time was very very bad and I think it was almost lapped in the 800 meter race but um, it was just nice to be around other athletes and actually my very first race was against a Paralympic athlete uh, Colette Bergogna so to, to have that as my first experience, it just uh, kind of showed the way of the possibilities that are out there for a Paralympic sport. Under the guidance of the late Clayton Garine, a fellow inductee into the Saskatchewan Sports Hall of Fame and the support of the racing community, Franks quickly climbed the ranks. In addition to dominating events in Canada, Franks enjoyed great success outside the country. Besides Sydney, Lisa competed in the 2004 Athens Greece Paralympic Summer Games, winning two more gold medals. Throughout her wheelchair racing career, Lisa set world records in the 100 meter, 200 meter, 400 meter, 800 meter, 1500 meter, 5000 meter, and marathon events. In search of new challenges, Franks turned back to one of her favorite sports. After Athens, I had to take a serious look at what I wanted to do with sport and at that time I held world records in every event that I competed in and there really weren't a lot of people chasing those down and for the most part I felt like I was racing the clock at a lot of competitions and so um, I had to really decide where I wanted to go with that and I knew I liked to be challenged and so I switched my focus and I decided I wanted to get that challenged feeling again and I decided I would try and make the Canadian wheelchair basketball team. I was a basketball player growing up. I loved, you know, spending time out on the driveway just shooting hoops. And when I was first paralyzed, they asked me what I wanted to do and I said I want to play basketball. 
Um, at the time, I was so weak though, I was just developing upper body strength and so I could barely get the ball up. I couldn't even really hit the net with the basketball. So, so racing filled that void for me for quite a while. But um, after Athens, my thoughts decided, you know, now's the time when you're stronger, give wheelchair basketball a go. I'd played with Saskatchewan at Canada Games and things like that, but uh, I hadn't really taken it seriously. And so right after Athens, I just decided now's the time. And um, I started training hardcore for wheelchair basketball and eventually it paid off. And I, after two tryouts, I finally made the national team. In doing so, Franks became the first female from Saskatchewan to make Team Canada. As with wheelchair racing, Franks and her teammates enjoyed plenty of success on the basketball court. In 2006, she added another world title to her resume when Team Canada took top spot at Wheelchair Basketball World Championships in Amsterdam. Those winning ways continued the following year as the team continued preparations for the 2008 Paralympic Summer Games in Beijing. Although Team Canada enjoyed a successful year, the players finished just off the podium in fifth place at Frank's third and final Summer Games. An injury ended her national team career in 2010. I just think that this um, induction is, is a good time to reflect on how far I've come personally and then also all the support that I received from friends and family and um, coaches and the organizations that really helped support us as well. Um, it just, uh, it's a good moment to sit back and let that all soak in so I can really appreciate what, what has transpired in 20 years, really. Installed in the Saskatchewan Sports Hall of Fame on September 29, 2018, Lisa Franks.